everyone, Claudia with Crazy Island Studios and welcome to another edition of Freedom Journal Friday and I am still on the Halloween kick. I can't get out of it. It's still October. I have another week and a half or so ish. A week? I have another week but either way I'm just excited. I'm having fun with the whole Halloween pages. So I saw a page on Pinterest that I thought was just so dang cute. I don't know who did it. I was just flipping through stuff and then my everything died. So I have no batteries uh, so I don't know who did it. Um, and But I've seen actually a number of pages with little witch's legs like sticking out of the page. I'm so excited about it. So I found this ad and I'm going to use it. I'm actually going to cut it out so that I can do a background and then collage this down. I'll be cutting around the legs and blast these helicopters. And if you can't hear it, good for you. I can. So I will end up like attaching the legs here following the cut on the page and I'm going to use these awesome shoes too. I think it's just perfect. So first, um, I'm going to set this aside. I'll cut it out later. I want to work on my background. Of course my witch is going to have black and white striped tights or pink and black or something like that. It's, she's going to have awesome sauce stuff of some sort. But for starters I got to work on the background and I want to make something kind of cool um, and grungy. A little grungy. There's got to be some grunge, right? It's for Halloween. Yeah, I got to quit trying to set things on top of wet paint. That's not good. Uh, let's start with some tissue paper because I always like to start with stuff. I don't know. <sighs> Let's just rip off a piece and glue it down here. I still have some pieces like all pulled out that I kept with me whenever I packed all my stuff so I'm trying to use those up before I get into um, my, my roll for more because I don't need more yet. There we go. Okay, so it's totally upside down or too light. But I like that curiosity down at the bottom. Not that any of that will show when I'm done, right? So maybe I like it upside down. Oh, I can't decide. Okay, so matte medium. Too much. That might be too much. Ugh. Oh gosh. Okay, I need to clean my rinse water. It does not smell good. It does not smell good. That's bad. Who else does this? Somebody please tell me, like raise your hand and tell me like, you don't rinse, clean your rinse water often enough or like at least not until it smells bad. Because <laughs> that's totally me. I forgot to block off my other page so I just want to get a little bit of tape here. My usual little craft mat guard thing that I put down is being used in another journal because I'm recording two things at once so stuff can dry and so I don't have it. I have a magazine page for my guard paper and just tape, which should be enough for this time. Um, yeah, so if you're gross like me and don't clean your water often enough, please like share with me and let me know that I am not alone here be on, you know, my crazy island where I do gross things like never changing the rinse water. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Okay, so I have that done and we all know that I am not likely to wait for that to dry to throw some paint on it. So, what color do I want? <sighs> I'm leaning towards some red with black and white. I mean, like, green is a cool witch's color, too, but red, right? Red. Let's find, there we go, some Quinn Crimson. Let's get some red on there. Mm. Okay, now... I like that. That's really pretty and it is going to have to dry just a little bit before I can do anything else but at least I have some color going on on the back of the page. It might need to be a little bit darker red. And, and then I'm going to grunge it up and then I may have to add some more bits of red just to fill in whatever I grunge up. I don't know. 
we'll see what we're doing. It's Freedom Journal Friday. We can do whatever we want today. I keep being reminded by those of you who uh, watched my last video told, and I was not loving my plain boring background that I don't have to do all the crazy crazy everything every time to make y'all happy. And you guys are so good to me. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are so sweet. So sweet. You make it worth doing all this. It's so much fun. So yeah, it's gonna have to let this dry for a little bit and then we'll see what we're gonna do next after that. Be back soon. Okay, so next. This is eh, kinda dry. Not terribly dry, but kinda dry. Uh, and my rinse water is clean. It's not all nasty and disgusting because it was kinda gross. Now it's clean. So, uh, stays on and a silicone, what are these called? Pot holders! Yeah, good to make some marks. I, like, I see these everywhere. I buy them. I have, like, I don't know, as many of the different patterns as I have been able to find. That's how many I have. Because <sighs> I think they're so fun. It's so easy and inexpensive, like, mark making tools. So, lots of fun. And I just want to grungy up the page so it's not boring in the background. <laughs> it's apparently that got to me last time. So, throw down some marks. an easy clean up with the baby wipe. Okay, so next I'm thinking gesso. I like gesso with bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. A big bubble wrap. I love this big stuff. I like gesso because, hang on, get some out. Oh, it's getting old. Um, hold on. My stuff is all covered. Where's my dryer? I like gesso, goodness gracious, Some sometimes you have those days, right? Because it dries a little more transparent than it goes on, which is kind of nice for layering because obviously you want to see some of the stuff from underneath coming up through. So that's kind of why I like to use gesso for this technique. Um, you can use white paint, you can use another color, you can use whatever you want. It's Freedom Journal, do whatever you want. Um, but I do like gesso for this one. And then it also, because it's a base coat basically, you have a, a coat of something that you can work on top of that will readily accept paint, which is nice, or marks of whatever kind you choose to go with. I think I'm going to not reload it and use the lighter stampings that I'll get the rest of the page. Okay, so this will have to dry before I can really do much else, um, but this will dry a little bit more translucent so you'll see more of the stuff from behind coming through. And I'm still going to pile some more things on here, I just don't know what yet, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've let this page actually dry overnight, and the next thing I want to do, and I don't really want to go overboard with too much background. Um, on this one, as much as I want to do a bunch of more stuff just because I think it's fun, uh, I'm probably going to be happier with the page if I don't. So what I want to do now is create a little bit of a really deep dark red glaze to put over the top of this just to deepen everything. I want the background to be really kind of dark. So what I'm doing is again some more of the Quinn Crimson and to start with a drop of carbon black just to see how I like it and a little glazing medium. This gives me the opportunity, oops, gosh that just went a little crazy. This gives me the opportunity to put this on as a glaze and then if I want to wipe some of it off if it's a little too dark. So that's kind of the point in mixing the glaze and let's just get this excess medium off and grab a brush out of my now freshly clean water. Okay. Give that a mix. Yeah, see, I think that's going to be plenty dark enough with that little bit of black. And glazes look scary when you put them on. I know this. If you all have watched me for any time, you know I like to scare you by covering stuff up and putting on glazes. 
making it look like I'm ruining the page, and then I save it, and it's all good, right? And you still love me. I hope. I hope you still love me. So anyways, yeah, glazes look pretty scary when you put them on because, you know, shoot, this is black. <laughs> it's really dark. So the point behind a glaze, though, is giving you the opportunity to kind of just darken something up, antique something, whatever it is that you know, you're trying to do. You can kind of um, have some fun with glazes. I am using glazing medium in satin. That means it won't have too much of a shiny finish. And what you need to do with the glaze is mix it, apply it, and let it rest for just about a minute or two. You can leave it longer if you want more of it to stay. I kind of want some of the edges to hopefully dry a little bit and really, really stay on there and yet lighten up maybe part of the middle. We'll see what happens. But I do want it to be pretty dark. So I'm going to let this rest for just a minute and then I'll go back over it with a baby wipe. I actually prefer to use a less than fully wet baby wipe. The ones that are sitting out on your table that have been sitting there for an hour or so and are, well, okay, an hour or so where I live and they're still wet and not fully dry because I know when I lived in California, if I left it out for an hour, it'd be totally dry. Let me see if I have any slightly damp. I have one that's just slightly, slightly damp. I may not be quite wet enough. And that's what I'm going to start with. And if I don't like how much is coming off, I'll go in with the really wet baby wipe. But uh, I do like to use one that's a little bit less than fully, fully damp. I might actually dip this one in a little bit of water just to get it a little bit more damp. But still, it's still just, just damp, not wet. And we'll start in the middle. It's coming off fully already really, really well. So I think I'll just stick with this really light, lightly damp uh, baby wipe or else it's all going to come right off. And glazes are awesome. You can work with them in layers. So let's say I did this and I took off too much. I can always apply some more back. So always think of it that way. It's better to start a little too soon on removing some of your glaze than it is to um, wait too long and have too much of it dry. Like on this, I might actually like it a tiny bit darker around the edges. I think I might. So I might just mix another little bit of this glaze. And put it around the edges. And let it sit just a little bit longer. Okay, so I've let this dry for a few minutes now, and we're going to come back in and see if we can get off a little bit more and leave it a little darker around some of the edges. Maybe brighten it up just a little bit around here where the feet are going to go. Okay. And as you can see, by bringing in a more wet baby wipe, I'm really able to get off a lot of that glaze. Just kind of like that little bit of dark, and I guess maybe if I remove this sheet, you can kind of see it better. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. Okay, I'm going to have to let this dry just a little bit, or whenever I apply my collage of my legs, which I did cut out while I was waiting for stuff to dry. So they're going to sit right there. So while um, I go to collages down, I need the paint underneath to be a little bit more dry so that it um, doesn't pull all that glazing medium up and around and over my legs. So I'll be back once this is fully dry. Okay, I've let this get pretty dry and now we're going to give glue in these legs down a shot. See how this goes. Get some. I'm using soft gel because my magazine page happens to be the back page of the magazine. It's a little bit heavier and I find that there'll be less um, buckling with a gel medium versus like a fluid matte medium. So let's just get some of this going on here. Alrighty, I think we're pretty good. A little bit of discoloration here coming from the um, 
glazing medium but it's not too bad and I love this tool it is a catalyst tool by Princeton this says O2 mini on the silicone tip and it is utterly amazing for spreading gel getting it super thin and being able to scrape off all of the excess so you can use a thicker gel without applying it super thick which means that it'll dry faster because I'm all about drying faster um, and collage sometimes tends to take a long time this really helps you smooth any of the bubbles out which I really like and then of course the drying faster gets me every time so I am going to just get this excess off the sides and lift this page up onto something so that it doesn't glue itself down to my guard paper and I have to let this dry again and then we'll come back and we'll paint on it. Okay so the next step is going to be to color in these lovely legs and I am going to completely cheat, okay it's not cheating because I have the tools and I'm using them but I'm using markers just to make my life easier. Yeah it's okay you could do that too. If you don't have markers of course you can just use regular old acrylic paint and it will be fine. So um, I have decided because I have the little one in white that I will um, be working on the around the foot with that and there would probably be a black one under there and then another white so we have to assume that right and see how bad that looks or do we need to do it black here hmm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay like that and I did mark this out with a pencil beforehand and the nice thing about the marker is that you can come right up along the edge of these shoes, which are going to be loads of fun to try and fill in later. But you can do it with the marker a little bit easier than you can with a paintbrush. But it can be done, and you just use a smaller paintbrush with a really nice pointy tip to do that. And I am going to speed through the rest of filling these in and coloring them in because it's going to be a slow process and then I will be back as soon as I'm done. Alrighty, so I think my camera died or something. Um, I didn't get all of the recording of me doing her legs but you get the idea, right? You know, you paint black and white stripes. You could do that. You're good. Um, I'm going to paint her shoes. And I want to use a brighter red than my uh, Quinn Crimson that I used in the background. So I have, hmm, I think I'm going to use Pyrrole Red. No idea if I'm saying these things right. I don't, I don't pretend to know how to say all these weird names. So, <clears throat> excuse me red for the shoes and then I'm going to apply glitter on top. I thought about mixing a gel medium with some glitter which would actually be really cool but I don't have any glitter. It's all managed to be packed up elsewhere so yeah no glitter. But I do have some folk art extreme glitter acrylic craft paint that is dries clear that I can apply over the red so I can have some ruby red shoes because like, she has to have ruby red shoes, right? Okay, so painting the shoes in, super easy, just follow the same design. I am not 100% sure if I'm going to do anything with that buckle. Um, we'll see. So I am not overly worried about the polka dots or any of that because this is a really light colored um, shoe and design and everything so it's not really going to make a big difference. I'm going to do all of the colored parts first and then think about whether I'm going to do this like wicker, what is this stuff called? Rope? <laughs> Rattan? I don't know. Um, part of the shoe, the wedge part of the shoe if I'll be doing it red, black or what. Not 100% sure but I'm going to fast forward or speed through painting through this and then I will be right back with you.
Okay, so I decided to go ahead and do the shoe all red. Otherwise, it didn't look like there was going to be enough like red glittery shoe stuff. So I'm going to color in the other one, and then I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty, all done coloring in the shoes. They are not dry. I decided to leave the buckle because my quote has something about has something to do with wearing fabulous shoes. So the buckle says Louis Vuitton on it from the advertisement and I think that's kind of cool so I'm leaving it. It's my art journal um, so it should be okay. <laughs> I'm going to um, line the bottom of the shoe down here where it's blue with the black just because the shoe wouldn't be solid red including the sole. So we're going to do that real quick. I went over the red paint just a tiny bit right there after I already cleaned it up. So let's just get a tiny bit of red paint and see if I can fix that. Right there. There we go. Going over black paint, which, yeah, it's trying to mix. Okay, <clears throat> so that is going to have to dry just a little bit more than it is before I can apply the glittery parts to it. So let me just start with a little bit of shading. I have a Stabilo pencil that I'm hoping is going to work because that is not doing what I'd like. So let's get rid of that. Oh, and my white paint, my legs are not terribly dry. The black Molotov marker, I swear, does not ever want to dry. I don't know what it is about where I live, my level of humidity, or what, but my Molotov markers don't like to dry very well. So, we're just going to have to fix it all up in a minute to pick a spot to go from and fix from there up or else. And this is going to just keep smearing, so I'm going to stop and dry it with a paper towel. I'll fix it up before I come back to you, and then <sighs> the red will hopefully be dry. And this kind of gives you an idea of why my videos are late all the time, because this stuff happens to me. Um, okay, so I'm going <laughs> to fix this. Maybe I'll still get this out on Friday. I don't know. Friday's today. It's getting late. I don't know. I'm going to have enough time. I hope you guys are going to forgive me if Freedom Journal Friday... This week becomes Freedom Journal Saturday. <sighs> so frustrating. I'll be back as soon as this is all fixed up and ready to do the glitter. Okay, so disaster averted. I repainted everything and I painted it all over with paint and a brush because I'm going to possibly like seal this or put something else on top of it and or even my daddy vans, it's gonna smear it. So I decided to go ahead and seal it into some acrylic and paint it over it. I'm going to use my extreme glitter stuff here. This stuff is so fun, extreme glitter. I like it a lot. Um, I use it, you know, fairy wings, things like that. Well, you know, pretty much whatever I can figure out that might need glitter, needs some of this stuff. It dries clear, it paints on, it's super easy and fun to use, and I am just going to put a coat over the shoes, which is going to look terrible. Oh yeah, by the way, on the shoes, I changed that little underlay part to be silver instead of black because it was just blending in with her stockings a little bit too much and I wasn't loving it. So, okay, going to speed through this part and then I'll be back for us to move on. Okay, so shoes are done, legs are done. <sighs> I need, what do I need? I need a minute to let this stuff dry. That's what I need, I'll be right back. Okay, one last thing I decided to try. I don't even know if you can see the difference between the two shoes yet, but what I did, which you can't see now because it's over there, is I mixed a little bit of the red from the shoe with this DecoArt brand um, Glamour Dust, which is ultra fine glitter. It's in silver, but it doesn't really change the color of the paint too much. So I mixed that together, and then I also added in the rest of that ultra fine glitter, and it just looks 
more like the sh red is glittery versus I don't know if you can tell on the camera this one looks more sparkly but you can tell like the glitter sitting on top whereas this one the glitters in the red which just makes me happier and it looks better so I'm going to go ahead and really quick touch up this shoe just a little bit and then I'm going to let this whole thing dry and decide if there's anything else I'm going to do before I add the quote okay so I've got the shoes finished the legs finished what did I do um, I went over the shoes a couple of times with that red glittery paint and then I went ahead and outlined all the edge of her legs with a little bit of black paint just because I felt like they were looking a little bit um, rough instead of smooth because of the white and the black and in between so this would kind of just make them a little bit um, more smooth and then this leg had actually gotten a little bit thicker looking than this leg so I made sure to outline the outside of the calf on this one and then I lined inside on the, uh, this leg to help make it look a little bit thinner and I'm going to use my Molotov marker again um, to work on the quote and the quote that I have is would a bad witch wear shoes this fabulous so let's see if we can make this fit on here Would a bad witch wear shoes this fabulous? So that's off of a quote on Pinterest. I have no idea who made it, but I'm like all into like finding some cool inspiration everywhere right now. And Pinterest happens to be my place to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this page and had a lot of fun. And forgive me if this happens to be Saturday because yeah, it just might. And I'm sorry for that. <sighs> Sometimes, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm still working on that whole schedule thing I hope y'all bear with me because I do mean to like make it better <laughs> like really really do oh you know I want to like add a little bit to these letters ah! so um yeah fun page right it was a fun page I'm just going to like thicken up a little bit of this left side of these letters so that they'll kind of match the ones that I started kind of adding to down below That looks a little bit better. Alright, so um, as you can tell, Mol Molotov markers, these puppies are awesome sauce. Look at how white that is on that page. Makes me so happy how good they write on dark backgrounds. They make everything look awesome. I did struggle a little bit getting that S on there only because I'm telling you, glitter paint does not take to any other paint on top of it like very well at all so if you're doing that you kind of got to daub it on there and just let it let it rest after that because just like rubbing paint over it does not work very well at all okay so page is done so having so much fun with these Halloween pages I hope you guys are enjoying them don't um, forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video subscribe so you don't miss anything thank you so much for your patience and for being a part of my YouTube channel with me and I will see you guys next week bye for now